Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'm going to try my hand with this orange cake. I'm not the best baker in the world. However, I love orange cake, but sometimes when I bite, they turn out a little artificially. So I decided to, <laughs> artificial, <laughs> I decided to make my own. Yes, I'm going to be using whole oranges, whole navel oranges. So I'm just going to make sure you wash them up good, the skin and all, no seeds. Put them down in your mixer with the sugar, the eggs. We're going to blend all this up and throw it into the, the cake mix. Not the cake mix, but the flour, the baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And that's it. It's going to be so easy and simple. But again, this is my first time ever making this. And I'm just excited for that strong orange flavor. Because I'm sick of buying them orange cakes, y'all. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. You buy that orange cake and it tastes like food coloring with the oranges on top. I don't like that. So, I decided to make my own. This is what it looks like once you blend it up just like this and then we're just going to add it to the flour that has the baking soda baking powder and salt and we're going to mix that up and the end result of this it was just the flavor was just so strong the orange flavor was just all up up and through that cake and i'm happy i actually tried it out so you also want to add your melted butter all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. You want to mix this up and get it nice and combined. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. So to a buttered down pan, child. I buttered down this pan. <laughs> you want to add the, but the batter. The batter is thick, but it's fine. That's how it's supposed to be, so don't be alarmed. Pop it into a 350 degree oven. This only took like 35 minutes. It cooked up pretty, pretty fast, but make sure you test it with a knife. Oh, I almost forgot. While the cake is still nice and hot, you wanna cover it so it can sweat. So I'm gonna cover it with parchment paper and then cover it with aluminum foil and let it sweat until it cools all the way down. So now we're on to the glaze. I have cream cheese, room temperature cream cheese, another orange, uh, powdered sugar, and vanilla. I'm going to zest the orange into the cream cheese just like this. Add the sugar. Then you're going to add the juice from the orange until you get the, the proper consistency. And yeah. So this is what the cake looks like after it cools all the way down. It's more dewy on top and soft. So now I'm just going to put it on my rack just like this. And we're just going to pour the glaze right over it. Child, I don't, I don't do all that decorating stuff. I'm going to pour it right over it. The glaze is good as hell with that cream cheese and orange. I just, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm truly obsessed. As you can see, the cake is nice and orange as well. And this is being shot from my cell phone. So I could just imagine if I shot this from my actual camera. Um, I'm going to cut it and let you guys see what it looks like. So this is what the inside of the cake looks like. To me, it looks more like bread <laughs> or cornbread in my opinion, but um, I did do a live video of me tasting the cake and trying it for the first time. So I'm going to make sure I put that down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.